There's a current debate going on in the VTuber community right now regarding the quote e-girl VTuber quote meta. And all of it really started from this tweet here that reads quote, they're just importing the Twitch e-girl meta. And the tweet image shows a bunch of VTubers such as Iron Mouth, Vebe, Shia Lee, and some others that are all allegedly just following a quote meta. Honestly, they all have very unique models and the only problem I could possibly see people having here is that they all show booba so that must mean they're lewd which is just a dumb sentiment to have. But then we have people in the replies saying things like quote, it's a shame how indies are abandoning good designs for be shoujo tier kumar bait ones like not everything i consume needs to be sexual in nature you know sometimes you just want a comfy streamer and then we had others calling the top left vtuber in the original image shizoku the quote biggest downgrade in history all because she went from a small model to a more dummy mommy design that looks amazing and now is there a problem with people rebranding into completely new models that they want to take on and is there some sort of quote meta no and yes there shouldn't be a problem with people wanting to become looter and they shouldn't be belittled at all for doing it either however there is very clearly a VTuber quote meta and that meta is currently making a looter model because that's what will get clicks but in reality it's not going to just work wonders for everyone. You can have the best model in the VTuber community and play into whatever meta you want but if people don't find you or your streams entertaining that viewership won't last. So is it smart for everyone to play into a sort of meta? Not really but I also don't think everyone rebranding into a lewd model is doing it for the meta at all. Like I'm sure a lot of them just want a change of pace and likely have wanted to be a part of the lewd side of the community community, but we're scared to do it because of how looked down upon it was. I mean, as you can see, it still is, but it's definitely a lot better than it was a year ago. Now, with all that said, I do think there is a problem when people play into the meta just for the clicks, because if you're doing that, you likely don't like the lewd model you have, and playing into NSFW content just is not for you. I think people just need to do what makes them happy, and people need to stop caring so much about what others are doing. If you don't like the content or their new model, just go find someone else. It's really not that hard to do, and it's not that big of a deal at all. But we have had other VTubers sharing their thoughts on this whole thing, which all saying sexuality isn't bad, you fool. VTubers are a medium that thrives on visual design. Sexuality through character design is a wonderful way of expressing yourself within your own comfortable boundaries. Just because it's not your preference doesn't mean you should put others down. And we also had Chibi Doki in a completely different thread discussing people, quote, needing to play into this meta, saying, as someone who is the opposite of this meta, I am doing very fine. I think many people will find happiness when you stop getting angry slash upset with others' choices. Which is basically what I said. You do not need need to play into this meta to be happy or get somewhere in this community. Be yourself and do what you personally enjoy and you'll see growth. You might not believe it, but chat and random people can tell when you aren't enjoying or happy with what you're doing. But I understand why people feel like they need to play into some sort of quote meta to get anywhere in the community. But like I said, I think the best thing for people to do is just, just do what makes them happy. If being an NSFW creator makes you happy, then do that. But if playing into NSFW content isn't for you, then don't just do it for the clicks. Do what makes you happy. But hey, those are just mine and some other thoughts on this quote meta situation, so please just let me know what you all think about this in the comments. As we move over to a statement coming out from VTuber Agency Production Kawaii that states, quote, as of late, we have detected the presence of malicious spammers who are misusing the names of our talents in order to slander them and make completely unfounded statements about them. This situation has been affecting our talents and obstructing their activities. Our talents do not have any other platforms than the ones listed by them, so please be careful when you spot accounts that could possibly be fake. And they go on to state they'll be operating as usual and doing their best to look into this matter. And it sucks that they have to deal with this whole ordeal, but hopefully with the community reporting incidents to them and they themselves looking into it, they'll be able to resolve this issue shortly. People really do suck sometimes. But let's move on over to some news coming out from Niji Sanji Uremu Indo showing off her brand new outfit that looks stunning. And just a quick reminder for you all that Iris will be showing off her new model tonight, so don't miss it and make sure to have yourself a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye!